Hola mi gente, welcome back to another episode of Amigas Teaching Amigas. Today I am going to be showing you how to do a pink drink with a little extra treat for you guys that I'm not going to spoil it for you. I'm not going to say what it is. You got to make sure you watch the whole thing so you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this technique. Hopefully you guys enjoy the little surprise we have for you guys at the end of this um, episode. Make sure you stay tuned. And Domi's out. Let's get started. Let's go over the materials that you need in order for you to create this technique. You are going to be needing a double wall tumbler. I am using a Starbucks tumbler, but you don't have to use one. You can just use any dupe or any other uh, tumbler that comes with a double wall. You're also going to need glycerin, acrylic paint, glitter, polymer clay, tape, water that I already added on my little ketchup bottle, which you will also need. And this particular tool is optional, but I truly recommend it because it's going to save you so much time when applying your glitter and your polymer clay. All right, guys, we're going to start off with our um tumbler here one thing that you guys want to make sure that you do is that you pour your glitter and your polymer clay first that is the reason behind my tape and my tool right here because these are going to come in handy when you are adding your polymer clay and your glitter the time of me working out is long gone like i am not gonna <laughs> Spend a whole 30 minutes, 40 minutes, sometimes an hour adding all my stuff in there because there's a lot of shaking and I, I don't want to wake up sore tomorrow. So these are going to come in handy when we want to do that. I am going to add just a little bit of water just before I start to add my glitter in my polymer clays because what happens is that when you add all your glitter and you add all your polymer clays and then you add your solution everything everything comes like it gets clumped down here and it's very difficult it takes a lot of time for that to kind of mix in with your solution so we want to make sure that we add uh, a little bit of water first just a little bit so that it doesn't clump down here all right, then go ahead and grab your tape. And then what I do is that normally we tend to use our tape, the sticky part, and attach it to our tumbler this way. However, when you do that, because the adhesive is on this end, when you start to add your polymer clay and you start to add your glitter, everything's going to get stick there. So do it the opposite way start from the from the adhesive out inside this little curve that the tumbler has and attach your glitter that way your glitter your tape this way and now the sticky part is on the outside so it's not gonna you're not gonna waste glitter guys glitter is expensive so uh let me add my polymer clay first I'm not going to measure anything. I'm just going to hope for the best. Because the polymer clays are very, very tiny. I'm not going to lie. I like to go in heavy on them. Like, I, I want to make sure that you are able to see the strawberries. So, but don't go too crazy at first. Add your polymer clay. Then you grab your little tool. Turn it on, baby. This one has three different settings and then let them go all in a little SMR moment for y'all <laughs> this kind of tickles y'all all right so I 
am really debating whether I should add more polymer clay or not. What do you guys think? No! This is a lot, huh? Yes! Thank you for chopping how nice, eh? Four, uh, four squares just this a little bit size. More. This size, four square. Just a I'm gonna put just a little bit more. I think this is good. I think we can work with that. Then we're gonna add our glitter. And I personally like to use something that's a little more iridescent. This is an opal chunky mix, um, but it has a pink undertone. Why? Because once I mix in my pink solution, it's gonna give it that extra little shimmer that we are looking for. So you can go in with a darker one if you want. Me personally, I love to go with an opal because it just makes it look so much prettier. And again, I'm not gonna measure anything. I'm just gonna go with instinct. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you just made a live about that? Uh, real? Yeah, <laughs> I did. <laughs> All right, and again, we're gonna grab our tool and we're gonna get back to it one more time. Look how easy it is to pour all that glitter. Look at that. How fast was that? We got our glitter there. Should I add a little bit more? Maybe I should. I'm very tempted to add a little bit more. But I am afraid that it might just be a little bit too much. Normally, I try to use, when I, especially when I use this, this um, I do this technique, I like to put a little bit, like, not what we would normally add when we add glitter, just because I don't want it to overtake from our polymer clays, right? And let's be honest, Starbucks does not give us extra strawberries when we go and get our pink drink. So, I feel like I'm being very generous with that amount. I think of... that's why it looks fake now, because you are giving it too much. Then. No, nobody asked you for trees. Should we add a little bit more? Everybody's gonna tell Mr. Yaya more. doesn't let us be great. You just, everybody's gonna say do more. <sighs> Whatever. You just don't know. You just don't know the way. That's the way. <laughs> All right. So we are done with that. We're gonna put it to the side, and we are gonna do our solution. Um, even though I put water in this little ketchup bottle, when I do my solution, I like to do it in a um, disposable cup, just in case I don't like the way that looks, I can just throw it away and do more. We're gonna get our um, acrylic paint and then glycerin. This particular glycerin, I got it off at Michael's. Never tried it though. This could be a, a I fell. This could be, this could be, this, this could be very interesting. I like to mix in my water and my glycerin first and then I add my, my paint. Is that the way you guys do it? Have you guys done this technique before? Let me know if I'm messing it up. <laughs> uh, why did you get the glycerin? Sorry. Oh, the glycerin is gonna allow our solution to like thicken. So it would not, if I just add water here, I could, but then all my polymer clay is going to fall due to gravity all the way down to my, my, my tumbler. By me adding glycerin, I'm making the solution thicker. So my polymer clay will slow down. It's still going to fall to the bottom regardless, but it's going to slow down the, the process. I add the paint to the glycerin only first. Does that work better? I can try it. I can try it if you guys want. I don't have any stirring sticks, so I'm just gonna use a brush because I didn't get any stirring sticks. Okay. I don't know, it's just what I do. <laughs> I'm gonna try your way, amiga. Let's figure it out. Jennifer, let's figure out if that's... I mean, I've always done it the opposite way. And it works. And it also works. But I guess it doesn't matter. So I guess it doesn't matter, but let me try it your way. When I do snow glove, 
I do half a cup of water, uh, well, one cup of water, half a cup of glycerine, and a quarter of a cup of glue. For this one, I've never added glue. So I'm not gonna, what's that, what's that saying, babe? Like if it ain't broken, don't fix it? Yep. So I'm not gonna add. But many people, it's just a preference, you guys. Just either you add glycerin or you add um, glue. You know, the main, main goal is for you to have a slower flow inside the double walled. So it's just a matter of what you prefer. Another people, other people use a magic solution. Like the stuff that they use to make slimes. So honestly, it's just a matter of what you prefer what works for you i'm gonna have a little a little mythbusters moment with mr yaya when eh Answer. i'm doing half a cup by the way eh when i don't know Sunday. because listen mr yaya was telling me he he's like why do you do this and i go i don't know Everybody does it. Yep. He's like, but why? I go, I don't know. Do you understand why it's done that way? I go, I don't know. Everybody does it. So he was telling me we should freaking do like a little myth busting <laughs> episode where, you know, we figured out why we do what we do. All right. So I did four ounces. Eight ounces of water, four ounces of the glycerin. I am going to start off with the lightest color, which will be light pink. And I'm going to do like three three drops. One. And two. And three. And then I am going to be doing one drop of the darker. One drop of the darker uh, pink. The way this is going to look fully depends on how you want it to look. Oh, I think I want a little bit over. Um, there is like no magic formula for this. Some people like it lighter. Some people like it darker. It's up to you. Up to you. I feel like it doesn't, you gotta really, really, really mix it up because I don't know if you can tell. Let me show on the camera first. There's a little bit like of particles of all the mixes, of all the acrylic paint there. So you're gonna have a hard time, or I feel like I'm having a hard time being able to blend all of them. Oh. 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 <laughs> you need to practice more often? Ay, 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 I'm already tired. Jennifer, do you see that too? Like when you're doing it like this? Do you see those like little, I don't know how to explain it. Which I mean, it, it's not bad at all. Um, because... It does, like the darker pink does leave a little bit of um, like little dots everywhere. So it's kind of, it kind of makes me feel like it's like, you know, those little, like a broken down strawberry. Sorry, right, that's how I do, but I only use one color, not two. It's okay. Listen, this whole series is not just about the way that I do it. I, when you guys tell me, hey, this is how I do it, sometimes I just shift the way that I was going to teach because I would love to try the way that you're saying. Please don't start. Please don't start. There's nothing wrong. And if it, it fails, then, you know, I learn from that. And if I don't like it, then I don't use it again. There's nothing wrong with it. What do you think? What do you guys think? Do we like the color? Should we go a little bit lighter? Maybe I can add a little bit more. You want to be careful, though, and not add too much because acrylic paint is also um, a thicker consistency. 
So if you add too much, you're going to make your solution a little bit gooey. And it's not going to look pretty. But I think I like the color. I think that it's not too light. It's not too dark. What do you think, babe? I usually don't. Mira. So now we are going to be adding our glycerin to our water and we are gonna continue to mix, 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 mix until both of them are fully, fully blended. So just like to like play back and forth with them. You know, kind of like when you're when your coffee or your champurrado is too hot and you have to like cool it down. ¿Quién quiere raspado de fresa? Te voy a aventar con el vaso hasta allá, eh. Let's just add a little bit more. Again. I just go with things saying I don't not know why it didn't made it how I wanted it again and this is a a different glycerin that I'm normally used to see by the time I'm done with this I'm gonna be a professional raspadero I can be a bartender now. Uh, in case, in case the crafting life fails, catch me on your nearest club. <laughs> so let me grab. We're gonna grab the bottle back. I'm gonna just dump the extra water that I had there, and I am going to pour my solution. Hopefully, I don't make a freaking mess. Pour my solution into my bottle. This is just gonna make me make it a little bit easier for me to add to add it to my tumbler. Mira la! All right. I kind of feel like it's a little bit too dark now that I see it. And we are going to add our solution there. But flip the cup. What? Don't leave everything on the bottom. So I know, I know. Flip it. Flip it. Ay, boy. And quack, quack, Who's the one crafting? Quack, 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 Who's the one crafting? Quack. That's what I was going to explain right now, but you don't let me. Jeez. Okay. Yeah. You do not want to pour it all the way to the top, okay? You're just going to add a little bit of solution. And you are going to start tap, tapping, 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 and shaking it. And getting rid of the glitter. There was extra glitter there. <laughs> <coughs> so that we can start mixing it with our solution so that, again, it doesn't stay crumbled down there. So just hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Well, you use your pretend vibrator. this is your husband annoying you, you because he won't let you teach a class. <laughs> so once, as you can see, it, you can see that it's a little bit mixed already there. I'm gonna add more solution to it. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna pre-seal my holes. Thank you. Pour a little bit of alcohol there. Wipe it down. I'm gonna grab a little piece of my... So your solution has a problem? Napkin, just so that I can cover it. And then I'm gonna be adding some tape. Make sure that nothing gets out of there. You don't have to do that. This is the way that I do it, okay? Okay. 
Most people only use one hole. Never mind. <laughs> I can I can see my brain going in many other weird different directions. We're not gonna go there. <laughs> Once is <laughs> they're sealed. They might still lick and it's totally fine. We just wanna make sure that we move that polymer clay around, okay? Okay, see, nothing is clumped up there, which is perfect. Just how I like it. Now that we shook it, I'm gonna open it again. <coughs> and I'm gonna add more solution. All right, one thing that I wanna say though is that when you pour your solution all the way to the top, you do have to let your tumbler degas. Why? The combination of the water and the glycerin creates many, many, many bubbles. So if you don't let it degas, meaning that you don't let it, let it, let the um, gases out, <laughs> um, you when you um, fully seal your tumbler, all those bubbles are gonna stay there and it's gonna generate gaps. Some people like them, some people don't. I try to get rid of them as much as possible. One little trick that you can do is you can use alcohol and spray it inside your holes. So that way, if there's bubbles, it's it, it's going to, they're gonna, they're gonna pop. But for the purposes of this live, because I don't wanna take a long time out of your day, we, I'm just gonna seal it so that way you guys can see the end result. Personally, I like to use hot glue for this. I do not know where my hot glue gun is at. I'm gonna pour some alcohol in there. You wanna make sure that it's fully, fully clean and dry, that there's no solution. Why? When we seal it with our resin, if there is water, if there's a solution there, if it's not fully, fully dry, uh, it will not cure properly. And you might have leaks. So I am going to grab a piece of tape, clear tape. You can use tape, you can use vinyl. And I am going to cover up those holes. So I added my tapes. I'm gonna add a little bit of... Supervising. Supervising. I'm telling you, esta esa cosita ahí. It's okay. Just make sure that the glycerin, I mean the UV resin goes beyond, in every single direction beyond the tape. So if your tape is goes to the middle, go all the way to the middle. Because it needs to grab from the tumbler Fill it up. Yeah. Over. Unless you since fill I'm it already up doing, <laughs> since I'm already no, well, since I'm already here, I'm gonna fill it up all the way. And then I don't even wanna move it that way. No, because you don't. I'm yes, gonna grab better. a little pencil here, and I'm gonna make sure that all my surface is fully, fully, fully even. That there's UV resin there. Just important thing: make sure nothing is above the rim of the cup. No tape, no UV resin, nothing is sticking out because then the cup will be unstable. You put it on the table and it's gonna kind of like wobble. Perfect. There's no way that thing is gonna leak. We will see about that. And because I don't want any of that to show, I like to pour a little bit of my glitter. And then I grab my UV uh, light. I don't have, I mean, one of those normal lights. I like what I like to call a UV chamber. So this actually cures my whole tumbler. FYI. Just like that. More than enough. Perfect. We have our pink drink. 
But listen, we are not basic like this. Like this, this, I mean, it's, it's still a cute, it's still a cute little, little tumbler. But we, we were born to stand out, baby. We were not born to just be basic. So adding your own little topper totally makes a difference. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And there you have it, guys. This is the pink drink with your little extra surprise. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of Amigas Teaching Amigas. I am so excited to announce that our starter kits for our domes will be available on our website. So if you want to try out this technique, feel free to go check out my website. All that information and the links are down below. Make sure that if you like today's class or any other episode of Amigas Teaching Amigas, you click subscribe, you like, you share. Let them know that we host free classes for you guys. If you want to see the live version, um, we do go live to show you guys how to do all of this on our Instagram page. So make sure you go and follow us there as well. Turn on all notifications so you never miss an episode or an announcement or anything like that. I will see you guys next week with another episode of Amigas Teaching Amigas. Have a blessed day. Bye.